So I've got this tower thing that I've had for several years and I've been wanting to really become a good pull-up person, pull-up doer, but it's the kind of thing you really got to keep at it and uh, I just don't do it. I do it every so often when I feel like it and every time I try it's really hard. about all I can do. So I thought there's got to be a way I can do these better and uh, that's where I got to thinking. So here's what I came up with. I call this my pull-up helper and it does exactly what the name says. It helps me do pull-ups. So as you can probably tell I built this out of uh, two by fours and three quarter inch plywood and some uh, wooden dowels and a few metal pieces and I'm going to show you how this thing works it's really awesome uh, I'm just going to get on it right now and show you what it does and then I'll, I'll talk about how it works but right now the platform is in the top position so I have to kind of get put my weight on it to get it in position but, See, I can barely, I weigh about 180, and uh, I can barely get it to go all the way down. I have to kind of really put my weight down on it, but see how this goes. So, grab onto these bars and uh, just let it work. And as you can see, it's no big deal to do a whole bunch of pull-ups. Of course, you can call this cheating. the only way I can do it. <laughs> so, not even breaking a sweat. Now, I've got this on the maximum. I got a lot of straps helping me do this, do these pull-ups, so that, that really helps. Now let me, I'm going to get off of this thing. That's a little bit of a trick, but uh, this step off and it's uh, up in the up position. Now if I want to make it a little bit harder so it's uh, give me a little workout I can take some of these straps off so let me try that. Okay let's try this again. Now I can get it all the way down so it's got a lot less uh, strength on it. And now go ahead and do it. So now I'm working quite a bit harder to do these. I can still do it pretty easily, which is much more than I can normally do with, without all this help from this machine. There, I'm starting to slow down. <laughs> So, but uh, now that it's in the less strong position, I can uh, get it to go all the way down, and then I can show you this feature I made, which keeps it in the down position when I am getting off of it. So I have this bar here, and I just wedge it in between the top of the sliding part and the base, and then when I get off, it doesn't, doesn't come up, so now it's ready to go for the next time. And you see, I'm breathing a little heavy, I actually don't. Got a bit of a workout. I'm still not sweating though. So let me show you a little bit more about how this works. So as you can see, these are just uh, bungee straps, basically with with hooks on the end, and they they hook on down here onto these uh, pegs that are angled, and that way uh, the hooks can't they they can't let go when they're in case they want to slide forward. The hooks keep them from from doing that. And then up here, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got these little pulley things that I made. And uh, maybe I will, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but they are, the straps go around the tops of these pulleys and then they come right back down to the same point. And the idea was that I can double up on the, the length of the pulley, or sorry, double up on the straps so that they don't have to stretch out so far. 
and that way the machine could be a little bit shorter. It's still kind of tall. But uh, so that was the idea of that. And then um, the way this one, this platform that slides up and down, it has uh, some slots that I that I machined into the two by four, and that's uh, where these these bolts slide through. And so the whole thing is guided by those by those slots. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple machine, and uh, but it really does a lot for me. So I'm really glad I built it. And uh, if you want to see how I did build it, I've got a separate video that shows you that. So I'm sure you want to check that out. In the meantime, I'm Mike and I've been thinking.